Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're looking at a couple cool Stratocasters. This is a 1955, so this is the second year they were in production. Okay, uh, a few changes. In 55, this had a two-tone sunburst. But in the 60s, the original owner wanted, um, wanted it a little nice and shiny, so they had to uh, finish at the factory. Um, also, in 1955, this had a three-way switch, which, believe it or not, the three-way switch was the way it went until 1977. So it took a long time for Fender to kind of, you know, in, uh, introduce that change that everybody was into. Because, you know, originally you had this tone, the middle tone, and the neck. But players found that they could kind of tweak it in between and get that cool stratty, you know, that whole... Uh... That quintessential Strat tone. So it took a while for Fender to kind of catch on. All that being said, this is where it started. Back then, Ash Body later went to Alder uh, for most Strats. Uh, Maple Neck, and the slab rosewood was introduced in 59. So it went through a few changes, but I want you to kind of hear, and of course pickups changed and there were different changes as well, but why don't I put on the next strap, which is my 1966. We can do a little taste test between 55 and 66. So in 1966, that's when CBS uh, bot fender and they started going through some changes. Uh, the first change, the most obvious one, is this great big fat headstock that I really love because it's so Hendrix and this is actually a transitional logo but we won't get into that. Um, but they, they brought in the big head headstock and the story goes that when CBS took over they said we really need to do something about our branding so um, let's make the headstock bigger so we can make our Fender logo bigger so people will know what it is. So that's the story. I believe it. Um, but I, I do love that big headstock. So it went from this skinny thing with that spaghetti logo to this big fellow right there. And then later that Fender went from... Uh, from gold with black lining to black with gold lining, I think. Uh, but, you, uh, you know, I think that's, I think that's the way it went. So anyway, um, by 66, there had been some other changes. The three-tone burst, which I really love. This is, a, this is the original uh, sunburst. Um, uh, I got this actually from a, my buddy, Stu Simon, who was, I think, the original owner, or had it forever, buddy of mine in Detroit, had this guitar forever. Uh, but it has the original sunburst, has the original three-way switch, um, but, uh, and, and then has the, the rosewood fingerboard. So some cool changes, and of course there were some, some other tweaks. Uh, so let's hear what this thing sounds like. Oh, and, and uh, this is all stock, but one change that, was, that, that I made to it, it now has the Memphis wiring. That's when you take your three-way switch and and uh, and disconnect the middle pickup so it's more like a telly whereas this is this pickup this is these two and this is that one and then you've got the middle pickup on this as a volume for it so that's called a Memphis wiring that guys like Jeff uh, Skunk Baxter did anyway I digress all that to say I tweaked a little bit but it still has a three way so let's just hear this thing a bit
would be an alder body, whereas that's an ash. And I mean, I guess you can hear those differences. You know, the main difference are going to be the tonal difference will be that that rosewood, the body. I think they did some tweaks on the magnets, but it is kind of amazing what an innovative, expressive instrument this is. You know, when I first started listening to Stevie Ray Vaughan and I heard Lenny, you know. <laughs> showed every sound that's in this in the strat like on that last little solo it goes into like I totally messed that up but if you if you haven't listen to that song ever, right after this, go ahead and listen to it. Because it is, C. Ray Vaughan just gets every tone out of the Strat. So that's just a little quick uh, rundown, a little, little taste test between uh, my beloved 66 and my beloved 55. Um, I'm gonna put a little dirt and get out of here. then I really will get out of here. Oh, and for the record, I'm plugged into my old 66 Deluxe because that seemed kind of fitting. And, uh, and I'm running this little kind of modest club pedal board. Uh, this Ross compressor I've had since, uh, I guess, ninth grade. <laughs> so that's... That's running right now. Oh, another personal funny story. This strap right here, uh, when I was in in ninth grade, I had asked for a Fender Strat for Christmas, knowing full well I would never get it because it was far too extravagant. Uh, but I asked everybody, including my grandmother, and so on Christmas Day, uh, I opened up the present and it was this Fender Strap. So I've had that since uh, since then. So she was she was very happy that she'd given me. She thought she'd give me the Christmas present of a lifetime, and it was a strap instead of a strat. Anyway, let me give you some dirt on this, on this uh, 55. <laughs> you know, right there, it does feel it's it's a little little bitier, I think, and and not quite as loud. <laughs>
Until next time, this is John Bolger with Premier Guitar. Play on, amigos.